Hi guys, Mark is here and welcome to Chinese Entertainment Update June 27th, 2023. I release episodes every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday between 7 and 10 p.m. Pacific time. This is episode 704 and the rundown with timestamps is in the description box below. Now, because I use Chinese names quite a bit on my show, if you want the English spelling of them, you can turn on subtitles. I create them myself. In today's episode, the Beijing News has something nice to say about hidden love. In contrast, a scriptwriter in the industry has something not so nice to say about hidden love. My final thoughts on the youth memories with Xiao Chan and Li Qing. And photos of rumored couple Bai Jingting and Sung Yi wearing the same items of clothing make the rounds on social media. We usually begin with what's recently premiered, but nothing to report for today and yesterday. So we begin with dramas that recently announced their premiere dates. 10 Years is a modern romance drama starring Gala Zhang and Zhang Yaqing. It recently confirmed a June 28th premiere. That's tomorrow. According to Aichi, it follows five young people with very different backgrounds and personalities as they face up to their emotional pains and life's difficulties. 10 Years is slated for 24 episodes and will stream on IGE. Then there's Ray of Light, a modern drama starring Guo Jingfei, Ren Ming, and Roy Wang. Yesterday, they confirmed a June 29th premiere. According to Baidu, Ray of Light follows a former teacher played by Guo Jingfei who goes back to teaching when his business venture fails. He meets a group of teenagers, two of whom are played by Ren Ming and Roy Wang, and impacts their lives in brilliant ways. Ray of Light is slated for 30 episodes and will stream on Yuku. I will update again on where to watch these two dramas with English subs if available after they premiere. And that's it for premiere dates. Moving on, the stories on Hidden Love. As I mentioned in my last episode, Hidden Love's viewership has surged since its premiere. Next week should see it in the top two on viewing charts. With its popularity comes its share of praise and criticism. Recently, I came across two topics of discussion, one praising the drama, the other criticizing it. We'll start with the praise. The Beijing News comments on Hidden Love became a trending topic on social media. It had already been viewed over 240 million times when I came across it. The Beijing News is a state-owned media outlet, and yesterday they published this article titled Hidden Love's lead writer says Zhao Lusi is the most suitable Sang Zhi. In Hidden Love, Zhao Lusi plays Sang Zhi, a young girl who falls in love with an older boy, Duan Jiaxu, played by Chen Zhiyuan. Here's a quote from the Beijing News article. From Sang Zhi's hidden love for Duan Jiaxu at the beginning, to being with him later on, encouraging and accompanying him along the way, through the dark times, she also went through different stages of growth. Director Li Qingrong said that for Zhao Lusi to play the role of Sang Zhi at her current age and state was not easy. Quote, I think Lusi did her homework very well. She distinguished her character stages clearly and meticulously. One can feel the difference when she portrayed a young Sang Zhi. The article goes on to say that Hidden Love is a romance drama that showcases the healing effects and energy of youth love. They called the drama pure, simple, warm, and romantic. On the flip side, here's another topic I came across, one that doesn't flatter the drama as much. The topic scriptwriter Zhu Ming calls for removal of Hidden Love hasn't been viewed as much, only around 5.6 million times when I viewed it, but it caused a stir nonetheless. Scriptwriter Zhu Ming wrote the scripts for such dramas as 2019's Kiss, Love and Taste, 2018's Age of Legends, and 2015's The Whirlwind Girl with Yang Yang. Well, the 37-year-old got a whirlwind of pushback when on June 24th, she shared this post saying, I watched a recent episode of Hidden Love. This is not a matter of whether the drama is good or not, but a matter of it inducing crime. At the beginning, you have a junior high student under 14 interacting flirtatiously with a male college student. He has a flirtatious tone and she is infatuated like a baby deer. How would underage children feel if they watched this? Parents usually work hard to teach their children and raise awareness to prevent crime, but when the children see something like this, packaged in a sugar coat of love, how will they perceive it? Zhu Ming then lists out three requests. One, parents with underage children should pay attention. Don't let your kids watch this show. 
two, calling for the platforms to remove the drama, and three, appealing to colleagues. Really, can you have a sense of social responsibility? Can you? Seven hours after that post, she shared another post, this time with screenshots to show how much pushback she received from her earlier post. She shared three screenshots of comments from the comment section, and one from a private message which pretty much accused her of being hypocritical because she has written shows about underage girls falling in love before. Zhu Ming must have known what to expect when she shared her thoughts, but in any case, was the Beijing News article in response to Zhu Ming's requests since it came out a few days after it? Perhaps, I mean the timing checks out, but it didn't explicitly state so. But if you're wondering if Hidden Love will be taken down because of Zhu Ming's requests, I highly doubt it, because like I mentioned, the Beijing News is a state-owned media outlet, and if they publish that article praising Hidden Love, the drama should be fine. Moving on now, I recently finished watching The Youth Memories, and without giving away any spoilers, here are my final thoughts on it. The Youth Memories stars Xiao Chan and Li Qing. It premiered on June 1st and aired the last of its 38 episodes on June 18th. It was directed by Fu Ning, who also directed Hu Tong and Shi Cha Hai, dramas that have similar features as The Youth Memories. Set in the 1970s and going through many years, The Youth Memories follows Xiao Chan's character, Xiao Chunsheng, and his buddies as they share experiences like joining the army and going into business, and support each other the entire way. They also meet Tong Xiaomei, an aspiring doctor played by Li Qing. The Youth Memories has been the number one TV drama for the past three weeks, and it's no wonder why. It has a captivating story, and it's well acted. It is set on a backdrop of change, the nation is going through change, and that is reflected in the characters. Personalities change, relationships change, and the path of the characters' journeys change. Xiao Chan did a terrific job with Xiao Chunsheng. In fact, it's one of the best performances I've seen him deliver. What I love about Xiao Chunsheng is that he is magnanimous, protective, and loyal. To a fault at times, like with his army friend and his first girlfriend after his unfortunate incident. But he has his reasons for his choices, and he sticks with them. Li Qing did a great job with her character too. Tong Xiaomei is kind, generous, and has a strong sense of duty. In a world where many people are driven by avarice, you can see how Xiao Chunsheng and Tong Xiaomei are meant for each other. The captivating story and terrific acting aside, the drama also has a great soundtrack and some charming settings. The Shi Cha Hai skating rink was one of them. Interesting note, in order to recreate the feel of the 1970s in that location, the crew surrounded an area of more than 10,000 square meters with straw mats. I guess it was to block out any bystanders from looking in and staring at the actors while they filmed, and also to block out any modern features in the background. The drama used the Shi Cha Hai area as a key narrative location and a symbolic space to show the unique cultural style of old Beijing. This made it a more immersive experience while watching the drama. I give the drama a personal rating of 7.5. As of yesterday, the youth memories still hasn't gotten a Topan score yet. This can happen when the folks at Topan are taking their time weeding out what they deem as fake ratings, like ratings from fake accounts, etc. So I've talked about this before, but since it gets mentioned ever so often, and since this is a good time to segue, I'll talk about it again. Back in October last year, one of Xiao Chan's other dramas, The Oath of Love, got its opening Topan rating. It came out over half a year after the drama aired its finale. Which made me wonder why some dramas have their opening ratings come out later than others. What is the deciding factor? Although I didn't find anything official from Topan, some people did answer the question in other forums. From what I gathered, Topan uses big data to screen for what they call abnormal scoring and abnormal accounts. They check for things like registration period, rating frequency, etc. Basically, they try to weed out what they consider fake reviews before they open with a rating. And apparently, in some extreme cases, they'll even do manual reviews, which can take time. Lastly now, a piece of celebrity update involving the stars of Destined and their wardrobe. Destined stars Bai Jingting and Song Yi. The costume drama has hit a note with audiences since its premiere. It topped last week's web drama viewing chart. 
A few days ago, social media sleuths dug up and shared a bunch of photos of the two stars wearing the same items of clothing. Like this white long sleeve top by Goodbye, which incidentally is Biting Things clothing brand. This became a fervent topic of discussion in some small online circles. For a bit of background, Bai Jingting and Sung Yi have been rumored to be a couple for several months. Although the two have yet to confirm or deny the rumors, it is considered one of Chinese entertainment's worst kept couple secrets. In November last year, the two became the talk of the town when they were photographed strolling in a parking lot. The narrative at the time was that Bai Jingting was taking Sung Yi to his parents' place for dinner. Speculation was that they had become a real to real couple after working together on Destined. Fast forward 8 months and the photo comps are popping up. Here is another one of them in a light blue furry jacket. And another of them in a black zip up. And here is another one of them not so much in the same clothing but doing the same poses for the camera. In Destined, Bai Jingting and Sung Yi play a couple who start off on the wrong foot but eventually fall in love. In real life, the two have been careful to keep it about their careers instead of their rumored relationship. Reportedly, they haven't even appeared together to promote Destined yet, something that many fans have expressed desire to see. And that brings us to the end of this episode. This show wouldn't be possible without you guys tuning in, so I thank you all for your support. If you enjoy the content, do like and subscribe, and don't forget to click that notification button for more updates. If you'd like to contribute, consider giving this video a super thanks. It is the heart-shaped button with a dollar sign below this video. All funds support the show and keep it going. Or you can check out my Patreon page, where for a dollar or more a month, you'll have access to parts like recaps, requests, and have your questions answered. As always, stay safe, and I wish you clear blue skies, good health, and happiness. Until next time, cheers.